Hey, YouTube. All right. Well, yeah. I didn't intend on getting the room like this quick because I literally just got out here. But I didn't want to sit in no truck till Tuesday. And I was done. I'm like four miles from my drop off at uh, 1030 Sunday morning. And I did not want to sit in a truck all the time and it was hot and I'm just running my tri pack all day. So I got out and I got me a room. There was a hotel right across the street, so I was like, hey, why not? Anywho, I finally needed this one just a little bit. Um, cause this has just been like a lot of stuff been going on. Like ever since I changed up and I started doing my own team. Like, everything wanna work and everything wanna work against me now. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm sitting here, like, listening to my ancestors, listening to the universe, listening to the most high, because I need some answers, okay? All right. First thing, uh, I go out, the first trailer I pick up, got big old gouges, like, when I say gouges, I'm talking about like real gouges. This much of the treads I'm missing one of them like almost the whole side is wiped out i don't know if they ran through some hot asphalt or something i don't know all i know is the trailer that was the only trailer that i could get and i grabbed that joker because i said i'm gonna just have to go get the tire fixed so you know that was that then uh get to the shipper i get loaded i get on down the road and Right before I was getting ready to stop yesterday, I caught another, caught another tire. I, I caught another one of those things, my windshield. No, it's not the size of a quarter. That joke about the size of a, of a half a dollar. So I can't find anybody to come and fix it because this is the holiday weekend. So uh, I just shimmied my butt on down here anyway. And I'll just get it looked at on Tuesday. But no, it don't stop there. It gets even better. Just get better. Just wait till. Oh my gosh. So I get I get up this morning. I go get my coffee. I go take my shower. And I go in. I get some fuel. And I met this guy. And he was working. He's a company driver somewhere. And he, we was talking about Schneider. So, you know, I was telling him about Schneider. I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm scratching. But I just gave myself an oil treatment. So, uh, he wanted to find out some information about Schneider. So, we're talking about Schneider, but, you know me, I got to get my 75 gallons so I can get my points. And I only had 72.7 gallons. So, I had said, excuse me for a second, I got to go and I got to put two gallons on the other side. I'll be right back. Well, he followed me around my truck. <laughs> and I didn't mind, you know, so we got to talking and everything like that. And I came back and my door locked. And I'm like, I didn't lock my door. I left it cracked. Because I wasn't supposed to be going to the other side. Okay? So he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had left your door open and I didn't want you to leave your door open. So I locked your door for you. I don't have no key. No phone. No coffee. <laughs> no purse. <laughs> I got nothing. Because everything was sitting right on the floor of the truck. So, you know, I smiled. It wasn't, he wasn't being malicious with it or anything like that, you know. But uh, it was uh, interesting how that panned out. Um, a lot of my trucking brothers and sisters, they all really helped. Everybody that had a Freightliner were, it was like people were just coming just sticking their key in the door. <laughs> Like I had a sign saying, hey, anybody got a Freightliner Cascadia key? <laughs> so people were coming. If they saw another one, he'd be like, you locked out? Uh-huh. And then they'll come and they'll stick their key in. Nope, didn't work. Oh, nope. I even had one. He went and tried to see if the other one worked. And then uh, I sat out there for about an hour. I went over to, uh, you know, the, I was waiting for, you know, a locksmith to come. Because I had to go inside the pilot and they called a local guy. Uh, well, they had to call a lot of people because nobody was answering their phone. But we finally did catch a company, and they said they'll have somebody within a half an hour. Now, mind you, I was there an hour. So, uh, finally, this, this young guy, little boy, 
not a little boy, young man. He comes and he's got, he's going to do his laundry and he looks at me and he's like, you locked out? I say, yeah. Now I'm out here getting all the sun, all the vitamin D, all of it. Cause there wasn't nowhere else for me to go cause my truck was in the sun. So uh, he said, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go put my stuff in and I'm gonna be right back. Brother man goes and he looks and he's like, all right, pop your hood. Pop my hood, oh, okay. So I go, I pop my hood. And he goes, he walks over to the truck. He comes back, he got those lockout kit. I mean, all the parts, I'm gonna get it. Even though it's not gonna do me any good because if I'm locked out of my truck, <laughs> the lockout kit will be in there too. So maybe not. But he ran and he got his lockout kit. And he, uh, he you know, he couldn't um, do it with the, the slim, you know, the little thin one that you pop up. He couldn't get it to go that way. Uh, so he had to go with the, the two little rubber triangles. He had to hammer them in and then he had to go in from the side. So, you know, he was able to, to, to get my lock, my door to unlock. Um, which was cool and everything. I tried to pay him. He didn't want any money. Um, he told me that, uh, you know, he just wanted to be able to help somebody, which was cool because that's all I'm about. I'm about, you know, uh, random acts of kindness. You know, that's just the thing that I always be talking about doing random acts of kindness. I do it all the time, all the time. So, you know, this was like my time, you know, and I was like actually really appreciative of that. That was like really cool. So, you know, the day wasn't a total wash. I was able to get down, get, you know, get myself in place here. And I was going to sit, but then I was like, mm, I don't want to sit all day, you know. So I saw the hotel across the street and uh, the prices weren't that bad, you know. So I came on over here, ordered me some Instacart because uh, they got a little uh, refrigerator and a stove right there. Um, this is on the refrigerator here. Uh, it's got a microwave. It's got a sink. So I said, okay, well, I guess I can hang out here till Tuesday. And uh, I got me some Instacart and uh, made me a uh, vegetable stir fry. Got my olive oil. See? Olive oil. And I got me an apple for breakfast. I'm going to try to eat right. I'm just going to try to eat right. For a change, uh, no junk food, no fast food, no Arby's or Wendy's or Popeye's or none of that. You know, got to get some of this weight off. Says, uh, I don't know. I gained all my weight right here. And I'm like, I'm just looking like a little quarterback. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to keep this long. But um, I just wanted to send y'all some peace, love, and light. And don't forget to do random act of kindness because you never know when it's going to come your way.